It's time to share testimonies. Awesome testimonies. Mind-blowing testimonies. We start with the online testimonies. Pastor Ibrahim Akambi Gado from Bene Republic Mission Field was involved in an accident which was said to be fatal after leaving the camp, this camp. He was assumed dead, but the God of the RCCG intervened. As he was being moved to the mortuary, he was discovered to have come back to life. <laughs> Hallelujah! Next, from Pastor Ayodele Egun from Nigeria. During the 2022 Holy Ghost Congress, she was lying in the intensive care unit, ICU, almost dead, with liver, kidney, and lung issues. Her blood was clotting. However, she was connected to the service where our Father and the Lord Daddy Gio gave a word of knowledge that someone in ICU is receiving a new kidney. She received it, she was healed, and she was discharged. Contrary to the doctor's report. The third testimony, Sister Aurelu Ajayi from Nigeria also had been having several painful cramps. But on the first day of the Holy Ghost Congress this year, this one, 2023, she obeyed the instructions to praise God like never before. She danced and she received her healing from praying, from praising the Lord. And all pains gone. Number four, Brother Akimbola Olushegun from Nigeria was healed of bleeding in the nose at the November 2023 Holy Ghost service. When the word of knowledge came through our daddy that somebody was bleeding, but the bleeding has stopped. As daddy declared it, so it was that bleeding stopped up till now. Somebody praise the Lord. Number five testimony, Sister Ijeoma Benjamin from Nigeria. In December 2022, during a, med during a medical scan, she was told that the pregnancy she was carrying was bad, had spoiled, and she had to go for evacuation. But she took the handkerchief on which her daddy had prayed on, had prayed, and laid it on her stomach and asked God to change the doctor's report. To the glory of God, the report changed. She gave birth to a set of twins. in August 2023. And the sixth testimony, online testimony for this evening is from Brother Demilade Elijah from Germany. He was summoned by the police, police that the equipment he purchased for some business was funded by illegal funds. But he did not know about this. At the September 2023 Holy Ghost service, to which he connected, our Father and the Lord Adigio asked everyone to pray for God's intervention against opposing forces. To the glory of God, as Brother Demilade prayed, the case against him was closed and cancelled. 
Praise ye the Lord. It's time for us to listen to the testifiers who are here live, physically. Please tell us your name and go straight to the testimony, very briefly. Thank you. Sister Samson, good washing. We joined 31, LP 70 years. Last year, it happened that I started observing an abnormal growth of my left breast. So after some times, it got three times bigger than the right breast. Then, my husband wrote a letter to Daddy Gio through our provincial daddy. I came to Holy Ghost Night, September Holy Ghost Night, and Daddy prayed for me ever since my health has been restored. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our names are uh, Mr. and Dickiness Jerry Shamba, Region 41, Ninja Province 3. Uh, the Lord, uh, we got married 2011, and since then we've been waiting for the fruits of the womb. But in particular, uh, one of my colleagues told me that you are going to redeem camp every September, every year. What have you to show? Come, let me take you to where there, something is happening. I took the challenge to God. And 2020, during Abuja's special Holy Ghost service, Daddy said we should ask for one thing. And one thing I asked for is that the following day, Saturday, my pregnancy test should come positive. And 2022, 2021, the Lord gave us a set of twins, Eldad, Kiki, uh, Oge Chukukama, Faithful, and Midad, Faithfulness, Olue Bube, and Kiki. Praise the Lord! Who did this? My name is Zukpe Akinsonya from Lagos Province 20. It happened on Thursday while I was going back home. I entered a wrong vehicle. And immediately I was so tired and the spirit told me that I've entered into a wrong vehicle. I begin to pray in tongues. Immediately the man, there were four men inside the car and one held my neck. The other one dragged my hand to the back and they took everything from me. They took all my belongings and the next thing, the other one brought out a black handkerchief and he placed it on my head. That was when I screamed. The God of Yehe Adeboye rescue my soul. And immediately the driver said, bad market. And the next thing, they dropped me. By the time they would drop me, he called the second. And he said, the second vehicle. And he said, don't kill this woman. She's an innocent. Don't kill her. The next thing, they just brought a bullet from their car. And they rubbed my face. And they dropped me. I did not know the place where they dropped me. I have come back to tell the God of Yehadeboye, thank you for rescuing my soul. Hallelujah. My name is Malomo Adediran, Ogun Province 14, Region 44. It was some days before annual convention, there was a noise running on my head. And on Thursday when I came to come for annual convention, that did you mention my case that my father said there's someone here, there's a noise on your head. After the shout of seven hallelujah, the noise will vanish. And I shouted the noise with every power I have, and the noise vanished. Praise the Lord. My name is Kenechuku Osuji, and I want to give God glory for healing. I'm 26 years of age, but I've been diagnosed with cancer three different times. And the last diagnosis early this year, I was diagnosed with metastasis and esophageal carcinoma, meaning that the cancer was spreading from my head to my neck, to my lung and my abdomen, and was very bad. The doctors said they would try to manage it, but I came to the 
a special Holy Ghost service in March, the God of breakthroughs, trusting God for healing. And I stand here to testify that God has done what no man can do, and I am healed completely. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Dignes Adeusi Bosede from Mekiti. I'm here to testify to the goodness of the Lord for what he has done in my life. Since 2003, I got married, I've been waiting, I've been praying, I've been crying. And also, I've been claiming all the prophecies from that dear Deboye, that the Lord of Inokadeja Adeboye will surely answer me, and I will come here to testify. And I tell God in 20, 2021, I got pregnant, and during that period, the, the devil also wanted to strike. But I used to, I said, Lord, but I remember the book of uh, Philippians chapter 1, verse 9, that said, Be you confident of the very thing. That the Lord that has started this very good one will surely perfect it. And I claim the prophecy of Abba Deboye because I usually watch all the program every day. If I don't come, I will make sure that I, I watch it on the TV. And I thank God today that the Lord blessed me with a set of twins, a man and a child, Taiwan and Kain, the Victor and Victoria, goodness and mercy, Oluwa Pamela Rain, Oluwa Dominino. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What can we say to all these that we have heard? Bad markets. Ha! Ah, dead on the way to mortuary, raised to life. How can we thank the Lord? How can we exalt Him? Magnify the Lord. Let's rise. Lift up your hands. Jump. Sing unto him. Call him by all the names that you know. Awesome God. Cancer became extinct. Awesome God. How great thou art. You are not man. There's nothing you cannot do. We magnify you. You are present in our midst. You can do all things. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Be magnified. Awesome God. How great thou art. We're grateful. We trust you. We believe you. You are the only God. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Present in this ministry. Blessed be your name. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Receive our praises. Receive all the glory and all the honor in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say a better amen.